All right, welcome to the first ever eSports Boxing Club. Five things that you may have missed in the ESBC official alpha gameplay features, but five things that you need to know. A lot of people may be seeing me for the first time, and I love providing the highest quality content that I can. So enjoy this fun video as we discuss the meta and the nuances. But without further ado, Let's get into the first thing that I noticed in the Alpha Gameplay Features trailer. I want you to listen to this about the Philly Shell uh, and the defensive stance. What you decide to have for your fighter. As an example, the Philly Shell will block certain body punches. So rather than uh, you having to always press block to block a certain type of punch, um, you can let your stance do some of that for you. Each stance will have a pro and a con to balance. All right, now, so being that the Philly Shell you're protecting your body and you get a lot of those blocks automatically without pressing block, then you want to look at the cut man in the corner man and pick a cut man or a corner man that complements your fighting style. Okay, so let's take a look at this and let's listen a little bit about the cut man. So we've done away with mini games in ESBC. Um, this corner scene is, is still very early in terms of what's going to be shown. All right, so as you can see here, I think this type of guy is good for the Philly Shell because he is not that great at recovering the body damage. You may not even be taking a lot of body damage because you are in that Philly Shell. So that's the thing. Now you may have some meta to where a different fighter stance, like maybe the cross block, or a peekaboo style leaving that body open, you may want to get a different corner man that regenerates the body. So it might be some meta around there. All right, the second thing that we notice, I want you to take a look and a listen about so the vein system the can be activated system. by using the same button as block, but instead of holding it down, you just tap it. So you can do a feint while you're throwing a punch, while you're throwing a lunging punch. Uh, you can use it to interrupt your punch altogether and just throw a different punch completely. So you can see here in this clip that I'm throwing a, a leaping left hook. All right, so one thing that I notice about these feints, check out his initial stamina here. You can't spam it. That's pretty much, see, the, it went, his stamina went down, and then it goes down again whenever he throws the punch. So to me, right there, that tells me you can't spam feints, which is something that's good. They're in the right direction. You see it go down, boom, you see it go down again. Um, Now... With David Adelaide, I went and I looked up some of his fights, and boy, he really knows how to use feints. And that's why I think they may have used some, um, him in this feature. So here, look, you see, he feints to his opponent, and his opponent blocks high, and immediately he goes to the body. And just that one body shot hit him in the liver, and it was good night, lights over. Officially, I was a fan at that point by David Adelaide, man. I can't wait. Maybe these feints will be real dangerous in the game, and there's no telling. If you deploy them correctly, they just could end up taking you to the next level. All right, coming in at number three, we're looking at the footwork system. And look at this. Boom. 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 Now, what I'm looking at is when he stops here, you see how he has to sit down in his tracks, and that weight has to actually stop moving forward here has to stop moving back and then going forward so what you're seeing here is like a realistic physics based uh, we wanted system. to get away from the sort of standard sort of clip based animation uh, where you kind of like loop clips to 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 put movement together and then another thing these are unique limb movements and what i mean here every their arms and their legs are unique to that specific fighter and i think they use this fighter because he got a unique type of walk you, you see that? Look at his walk. It's crazy. No other fighter is going to have that type of walk. And whenever you couple that with just that whole physics system where you move around and that weight has to actually get stopped before you can move it, that's when you start getting something we've never seen before. And listen to what he says here. We have our own motion capture studio. Okay. We have a real motion capture studio. That right there really gets me excited so that they can come in and we can just let them do their thing within within certain constraints that we give them um so that 
we can capture the the best parts of their movements, uh, their traits, and all their their punches and um, blocks and, and move sets. They're all captured here. There's no traditional animation as such. It's all motion captured. All right, so it don't matter what sports game you're talking about, whether that's 2K, Madden, et cetera, et cetera. For the most part, all fighters, all players kind of move the same. You heard he said it's no traditional animation. That's going to be fun and all in his own just to have so many fighters with totally different movements. That's going to be revolutionary. Okay, number four coming up. This is what I noticed. All right, look at the shadows right here. Look at how he's punching. He's punching out. He's punching out. And then as his stamina goes down, his stamina is depleted. And whenever you hit this heart rate at 100, around 150 BPMs, then you get an a, a additional stamina. But it's at a cost. So listen. Does is once your heart rate reaches a certain uh, BPM, your stamina will max out. But as you can see here, the downside to that is your maximum stamina reduces uh, significantly. There's also a cooldown timer on this. Okay, now the meta about this is the first time that you gas out, then you're probably going to get an adrenaline extra boost. But then once you gas out again, then you won't have it. Now, later in the fight, you may not even have enough stamina to build your heart rate up to that level to get an adrenaline system. So it may be a lot of meta around that. Let me know what you guys think about that in the comments below. Now, coming in at number five, these are some things that we saw in the very beginning of the video. I saw four directional punches, 36 punch control. 36 is divisible by four. Maybe it's nine punches in four different directions. You guys get in the comments below. Let me know what you think about that. It's purely speculation at this point. But with that four directional punches, I was thinking about that. Of course, you can punch high, punch low. But now maybe you probably can punch left and punch right. And in these situations, we're used to facing an opponent that's only coming forward. And then you can lunge out of the way here with a punch, which is crazy. But now if I have a four directional punch control, then maybe I can punch in the direction that I know my opponent is going to be don't punch where he's at punch where he's going to be so if i'm taking him to the corner i know he's going to try to circle out maybe in that scenario if i'm if i'm hall i want to punch to the right who knows get in the comments below let me know what you think and i like what i'm seeing so far i'm seeing all of these glancing blows and they are just getting started here as they said at the end of the video so these are some of the things that I saw in the video. The game is looking absolutely amazing to me right now, and I can't wait to get my hands on it and play it, but I want them to have enough time to get it right. Okay, please don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, hit that noti bell. All I'm asking for is 250 likes before I start work on the next video. Join the Discord because we got to start running some tournaments around this game whenever it drops and if you want to contact me quick fast in a hurry just follow me on twitter send me a message and i'll get right to you this has been a very fun video looking forward to more content see you in the next one peace